just a really quick uh, update. Morning of day two. Uh, I've already cleaned up uh, camp. Um, got my last little bit of gear here to, uh, to pack. Apparently I packed horribly this morning. Kind of in a rush to uh, get back. Um, from looking at the map, I'm probably got about a three and a half, four mile hike out. Um, so, uh, yeah, it went, it went all right last night. Uh, it got cold, got down to 39. Um, and, uh, the sleeping bag did all right, but it's not, um, it's not perfect for people with broad, uh, broad shoulders. So I barely got, I mean, I was able to zip it all the way up, but I really felt like I was, um, <laughs> a mummy. Um. But, anyways, so I had breakfast, Mountain House, eggs and bacon, um, and uh, cleaned up, got everything. So now I'm going to start a long track back. Um, I'm not sure if I'll take any more videos. Maybe I'll take some at the truck or whatever. I mean, unless something really cool happens. So, sunrise coming up over there. That's where I'm heading. Nice, awesome view of the lake. All right, talk to you guys later. Just an update. <clears throat> Still on the uh, Morgan Hollow loop. Um, it's going pretty good. The trail has so far been pretty well defined. So basically, if you're going to come out here and hike, don't don't come out here and hike in the um, at least people starting don't come out here and hike um, in early November. Apparently they do some kind of maintenance or, or maybe the volunteers. I know there are people who come out here and uh, um, I don't know about blazing the trail, but I know people come out here and they walk in groups and it kind of helps define the trail. Um, so it looks like that. I mean, you can easily see the trail. So, it's um, almost 9, about 10 to 9. Um, I think I'm about a mile and a half. And so I'm just going to hit um, Junction H, which is at the end of Morgan Hollow. I'm going to cut across uh, to the main um, trail and then just kind of walk out. I think that's how it, how it goes. But, uh, yeah, uh, apparently, um, deer do exist, um, aside from the uh, sides of roads. Saw, uh, probably a, a buck, and, uh, looks like maybe three little deer behind it. And they was late. In the evening yesterday, before the sunset, and uh, I heard a noise, and they just booked across my field of vision. Kind of neat. Then I heard some weird, weird noises. I got more sleep last night than I did the previous time. This. This is where I got probably the most lost on the Morgan Hollow loop last time. It was coming down just before this right here. So we'll see. <laughs> see how well I fare um, this time. But I mean, if the trail stays like this, then uh, should be good. So, all right, I'll uh, catch back up with you if um, anything cool happens. Uh, so just a quick update, still on Morgan Hollow loop, but that's about the end because there's the post right there. So, neat little, I guess, uh, 
campsite. Uh, I guess you could set a tent up over there. Um, it's really rocky around here. You have to be real careful. Um, I mean, I was having problems. Or not problems, but I had to clear out from uh, all the uh, little acorn tops. The last thing I want to do is punch a hole in my tent. I've got a footprint for it, so that'll help out some. But uh, anyways, all right. So I'm at. I'm about to be at H Junction H. So it's about a uh, 0.8 miles to K or to J. I mean. 0.1 to K, 0.7 out. So I've still got um, one and a half, 1.6 miles to go. So I told uh, my wife that I'd be at my truck at 11. It's uh, 9:35. So uh, yeah, it should be should be pretty easy, especially because I mean, you know, point or almost a mile of it is going to be on the uh, the main like road part so anyways uh, that's where I'm at and that's where I'm heading um, did not get lost on the Morgan Hollow uh, loop at all actually I couldn't even find the spot where I got lost last time I, I think it's if you're coming the opposite way so basically, if you're at Junction H and you're going that way, I think it's at the uh, the first the first little like jut because I don't remember seeing a view of the a really good view of the of the lake last time. So I think um, I cut across. Excuse me. I think that I cut across. So I am. Ooh, is that new? That is new. Nice. It's starting to fade already, but oh, look at that! North Loop, Morgan Hollow. But I'm going from H to J to K. Awesome. All right, well, there's my uh, first really good blaze that I can see, aside from this obvious one right here. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, it might be at my truck, or, or, I mean, if something else cool happens. So, I'll let you guys watch me walk for a little bit. I'm not gonna bore you with too many more minutes of of this, but uh, I'm sure I'll get back to you guys pretty soon. So this is my uh, or the end of my March 28th, 29th, uh, one day overnight hiking trip. There's the access point to the south loop. That actually looks better than what I did. Previously, there was just an A on there. A black A. And you literally literally just walk by it. I don't know if they're 
Um, I'm gonna put that the post there, but I did notice um, that new post, new sign, was that back on, on H. So that's the access point to the south loop and it's literally, I mean, you walk across this bridge and you know, 20 feet, there it is. Had a lot of fun. Um, didn't get lost once. I only had to stop and, and uh, kind of look um, a couple times. So, and I'm also getting more um, more uh, efficient at time and time management and things like that. Uh, it was nice kind of setting up camp a little early. Then I didn't have to worry about the frustrations of I mean, getting everything ready. But, uh, or at least everything ready in the dark. Uh, on the other hand, sunrise wasn't until like 7.20, 7.25. So it was pretty dark early on. And I've been awake since 5.15. I haven't, I haven't slept well once that I've uh, been out camping. Last night I did sleep and I even dreamed. Uh, but uh, so I know I slept. But I probably woke up every, I don't know, 30 minutes, hour. Bear country, avoid confrontation. Unless you're into that kind of stuff. Sounds like someone's coming. And I'm leaving. So, see you guys.